lasting solution to my problems. Tunubu admits to failure. Beg Nigerians to be patient. Okay, Nigerians, um, I greet everyone out there once again. You are all welcome to today's news. Bola Ahmed Tunubu is using this opportunity to reach out to Nigerians, begging them to be patient with him because he has offended, he done wrong. Uh, he say, I know, I know, I know that I have wronged you, my fellow Nigerians. But then, what will I do? But with this, with this that has just brought up, um, I believe that there will be a solution to our problems. Let's go straight to the content. This is today's news. President Bola Tunubu has unveiled a groundbreaking solution to Nigerians' perennial petroleum challenges, inaugurating 30 compressed natural gas powered buses in Abuja. The locally assembled vehicles donated by Dapman and NNPCL mark a significant milestone in the president's vision to harness natural gas for transportation, reducing costs and enhancing productivity. Addressing the gathering, President Tunubu emphasized the vast potential of CNG in transferring Nigerians' transportation sectors. Citing India's successful implementation since 2004, he noted that commercial vehicles, which account for 80% of Nigerians' petroleum demands, can be powered by CNG 7 trillion of Naira spent on importing PMS and AGO. The president expressed his commitment to working towards a better future, stating the solution is here. We have it. We will work on it. We promise you definitely things will get better. Prosperity will be achieved. President Tunubu also commended Innocent Motors, the manufacturer of the CNG powered buses, for their dedications to his administration's CNG initiatives. This partnership underscores the government's collaborative approach to driving innovations and sustainable solutions. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Well, it's a good one. It's a welcomed one. And um, it's uh, encouraging as well. But one thing I will say is this. Bola Ahmed Tsunabo. You are paying attention to um, purchase. Okay, to purchase. What about provision? Yes. What about provision? Availability. Because even if you purchase now, um, these same people, this same thing you are purchasing, we still um, uh, make a, a provision to be high for consumers. We are for consumers. This um, vehicle you are purchasing now, it doesn't mean that after purchasing this vehicle, it's going to is it that it's going to help to bring down the cost of, 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 of PMS or the cost of food? Will it you need to make provision first? Make provisions, you know, bring down the cost of things in the market. You see, you see this subsidy that you removed is the architect of all of this problem. You don't expect 
fuel to be high and price of food to be down. Fuel is a direct factor to every sector of the economy. Fuel is just like water in a human body. Without water, can a human body work? No. So it's just like a big factor in Nigeria, in the Nigerian economy. So you really need to look into this, Mr. President, and um, give it a sound thought. I am telling you, for real. All right, uh, dear listeners, um, let's quickly, quickly check on this and be factual about it. So please don't forget your comments. Don't forget to, to leave them below the comments section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. As the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.